Welcome to The Quiet Room Brought to you by the creator of Truth Well Told, Tarot Your space for relaxing music, meditation and sleep enhancement Join me on my new channel I'll leave all the details below The Quiet Room Hello Scorpio and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your June 2024 tarot reading for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, so I hope you're well. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. So welcome. We are going to pull an overarching energy, look at some general energies too, and then look specifically at love, romance, relationship areas, money, career, finances, Scorpio and any other thread that comes out for you. So let's see what we have for Scorpio. We have the Eight of Pentacles. <laughs> Very nice. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Oh my goodness, Scorpio. <laughs> we have the King of Pentacles, male or female with the King of Pentacles, or it could be your energy. Solid, stable, secure, very manifesting money, successful, abundant. Commitment. We have the Five of Pentacles. The Four of Cups. All right, let's see what we have for you. What do we have for Scorpio? Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Scorpio. Let's pull some cards for love, romance, relationships first. What do we have for Scorpio? Thank you. Eight of Wands. The Fool. With that Scorpio, let's see what we have in Money, Career, Finances. Oh, there's too many there. What do we have for Scorpio, Money, Career, Finances? I mean, there's a huge focus in terms of what brings you stability, security, abundance. Yeah, we have the Five of Swords. We have the Hermit. Let's see what we have for you as an Angel Romance card. What do we have for Scorpio? Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Scorpio. <laughs> it's interesting. I had that for Pisces as well. I mean, it's not unusual for signs of the same element to have similar energies. We have big happy changes. I'm going to pull you an Animal Oracle card. What do we have for Scorpio? Thank you. Yeah, we have monkey ingenuity. This situation calls for adaptability and innovation. And let's see what we have as an energy for the month of June. Message for June, we have rest and rejuvenation. Oh, blossoming abundance number three. I think this is linked. This feels like you might get to where you need to be and then you can just kind of take a deep breath and sit back. Might even have a little break. Is what I'm getting. Let's see what we have in terms of blossoming abundance. That's number three. We have increasing wealth and value. This card shows a beautiful golden garden 
in the springtime with coins and new flowers blossoming all around. They even hang like fruit on the tree above. Upright, this card signals a new increase in wealth, possibly in a dramatic and unexpected way. Be aware that you sow the seeds of your own wealth and prosperity, much like a gardener works the ground and begins to see blooming results take hold. This card upright indicates that the universe is blessing you and helping the fruits of your labor to blossom. So smell the flowers, intend to the growth, be grateful and enjoy. We have some adaptability and innovation, however, here. I like this energy here, Scorpio. Uh, you're going to be, have a really productive month. Could be an, This is a card of putting your energy and time in the right direction. Uh, it's with a view to being very constructive, being very practical, grounded, putting the work in because I think that you're working towards something. This is a card of hard work. Uh, in a work situation, what you're doing... Uh, you're absolutely making headway, slow but steady. You know, this is the energy here. It's very positive also as a worker in the sense that you are dependable, reliable. You don't need to be told twice. You're very productive, um, diligent. This is, will be a very good hard worker. I think that you're likely working towards something here. There is something, however, in money career finances where you are deciding, yeah, it's time to leave a situation here. Almost remove yourself from a situation where you might not feel valued or appreciated or paid what you're due. There's a feeling here, Scorpio, and again, this King of Pentacles could be your energy. A King of Pentacles, male or female, is someone who knows their value and the worth. It can be a card of material success and abundance. But a feeling deep down your current situation is not it. Um, the Four of Cups can be a card of, of boredom, apathy, fed up. But sometimes we have to have a little nudge to do something about it. And you might get some kind of intuitive nudge that the time is now. Am I, all the work that I'm doing, the effort, am I being paid what I'm worth? Do I, am I feeling valued and appreciated where I am? There is a, a situation, it's almost like this, this nudge, intuitive nudge. It's time to do something about it. It's time to create the value that I deserve. Now, King of Pentacles uh, could also be, you know, a person in your atmosphere in some way. You might well be considering what this King of Pentacles is offering you. That would be underwhelming uh, because, and it could work when we have like appraisals and that kind of thing. Uh, you know, I'm really working towards something. When am I going to be promoted? When am I going to move to the next level? When am I going to get greater responsibility? When am I going to get a pay rise? When am I going to get a bonus? All of this energy is you're putting, you're working hard because you know you want to reap the fruits of your labor. This is the whole energy. Um, the Five of Pentacles is indicating a situation where you're not do, you're not that you're you're not getting that. In fact, quite the opposite. I'm undervalued and underappreciated, not paid what I should be, uh, sometimes even passed over in terms of recognition and undervalued, taken for granted. This is the energy here. This is why I'm feeling here you're removing yourself from a situation because you know deep down it's time. It's time to deal with the situation and take action on something that you have been thinking about and not acted on is likely the case. Because there is a new abundant path here, Scorpio. The Ace of Pentacles is almost kind of like going from lack to a new path that, that has the promise of real abundance and growth. Um, this is the new coming in. It's interesting when I even look at the Eight of Wands and the Fool. It's interesting for the water signs. I've had kind of messages across the board. 
There could even be some communication or conversation. That could be anything. That could be if you're pursuing opportunities, networking, seeing what's out there. But this can also be things like recruitment agents or friendships or your work connection uh, or work network, you know, people who you're connected to, who recognize you for the work that you do. Somebody could be telling you about an opportunity here. There could be some kind of communication. And this would be about going for it with the fool. Again, the fool is linked to a new path, taking a leap of faith and carving out a brand new path for yourself. The Ace of Pentacles is very positive in terms of new job, new business opportunity, contract, new abundance. And I, the Five of Swords, this is people being disrespectful towards you. Um, there's a quite a, I want to kind of say a, a bit of a selfish energy to that as well. Uh, people doing whatever it takes to get ahead. They're not worried about how it affects you or how their actions upset you in some way. And I feel that you are likely removing yourself from that situation because in your truth, you don't feel like it's going to change. This is the divine nudge because you're bored. You're bored, you're fed up. Is what I'm seeing here. I like the fact that there is that sense of self-value and appreciation and understanding what you deserve in money, career, finances because you are, you are a good worker. But it's almost like this is not it. I feel this is about removing yourself from a scenario where you haven't got the recognition or value or appreciation that you deserve here. And it's likely, uh, again, this adaptability energy shaking things up. Could even be spirit is even organizing something to come into you. Might well be a friend, might well be, a, again, some kind of work network, could be a recruitment agent. This feels like suddenly, suddenly, communication coming in and you're jumping at it. I mean, this feels like it's, it's linked with a brand new path. That's leading to something solid, stable and secure. This is the energy that I'm seeing for you. The additional message with the Eight of Pentacles, it can be things like internships, apprenticeships. It's very good in terms of, for me as a reader, um, doing a, furthering yourself in terms of education skills development qualifications especially if your work and the money that you get and the level that you're at is associated with uh, qualifications uh, experience uh, training you know so this will be the energy here you might have been put on a lot of time and energy to get more money and done some educational or skills development or training in a particular area and still not really getting what you want in your current circumstances and you're deciding I think that you're withdrawing here this is removing yourself from a situation and moving yourself towards new abundance there's a new path here however you hear about it it looks like there's a new path so let's have a look at I mean there's a strong focus in terms of money here money career financial aspects in terms of love, romance, relationships, there is a scenario of someone going and doing what they want to do and disregarding you, but they're wanting to heal and they're prepared to put the effort and energy into, you know, I'll work at it. I'll put all the time and energy into this in order to build back up with you. And there may well be some conversation here. This can also be travel, getting away from it all, holidays, you know, that kind of thing is part of this process. The fool is sometimes we have to take a leap of faith and take a chance. I think that you're deciding within you the experience that you have with this individual. Are you, do you want to put the work and time into this? This is what you're considering here because, again, this can be you're considering whether you accept, whether you want to do that or not, whether you think it's worth it whether you're building towards something with this person or not. This King of Pentacles is likely somebody who is committed or is, is promising, I'm committed to a path, 
I promise we can build back up. Maybe they made you felt uh, whatever they did, not good enough, not valued, not appreciated in a relationship. This could also be a friendship circle as well. It's not limited to love romance. It could be a, a friendship or, you know, family fallout. It's you've put so much time and energy into this and this is what they go and do. You know, this is the whole energy here. It feels like, you know, you waste your time in some way because this is how you're treated or the experience that you have. The Ace of Pentacles, uh, somebody wants to build back up and is wanting even to return to the home and the family would be the energy here as well, the home, the property. Uh, they could have been rejected and shut out in terms of what they did as well. So this can be that kind of energy too. It's about you considering, and this is the rest in rejuvenation, taking a step back to really think about what's on offer for you in terms of whether you can build back up and whether you want to put the work into this, whether you think it's worth it or not. The adaptability and innovation is something has to change moving forward. Should you take a leap of faith and take a chance on this person? You don't want to be made to feel foolish because it is a leap of faith, likely because there is healing involved and you've been let down by this individual or individuals. So the energy would be if we are going to move forward and start over on a, on a solid footing in terms of building back up. You might want certain provisos or certain commitments here so that this likely doesn't happen again. But it feels like a leap of faith. We have big happy changes here, Scorpio. So that, ha that is the potential across this reading. But this is all about shining the light from within, even having a little bit of alone time. The Hermit can also be somebody offering you sage advice if you're not sure what to do in terms of whether you can build back up with an individual or individuals again. You might need to take a little bit of time out to think, to shine that lamp and see how in truth you want to move forward. So let's see what we have for you. What do we have for Scorpio? I'm going to pull you an Angel and Ancestors Oracle card. What do we have for Scorpio? Thank you. We have She-Wolf, Unleash the Wild Within. We have High Priestess, Harness Mystic, Mystic Power. Now, High Priestess energy is very intuitive, so deep down you just know what you need to do. There's going to be a strong intuitive pull. And when that happens, you need to just listen to it. Let's see the she-wolf. Let your wild side up and out. Unleash your talents and your desires. You are being rewilded at this time. Guided to reconnect with your rebellious heart, the part of you that likes to break boundaries and go beyond them completely. If you've been holding back on your hopes, dreams, wishes, you're being encouraged to chase after them now. Let the wolf energy within you help you track down what direction you want to go in and don't let any traps or hunters get in the way of your freedom or growth. The life you want is here. Let's pull you a final message from heaven, whatever heaven means to you. What do we have for Scorpio? We have, we are proud of you and aware of your achievements. Number 38. This is a great energy of it's your time to shine. Uh, the peacock energy is always linked to the word for me as a reader, magnificence. Us recognizing and showing the world our magnificence. It's a really powerful energy. That's what I have for you, Scorpio, for the month of June 2024. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful month. I will see you next time.